looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Certainly every Bible reader will be familiar with this passage from Titus. In the concordance, the original Greek word for hope is G1680, or El Peace, and it means to anticipate, usually with pleasure. It's an expectation. In Blue Letter Bible, it's defined as, one, expectation of evil, fear, two, expectation of good, hope, and three, on hope, in hope, having hope. As you'll see, it's used 53 times in the New Testament as hope, and one time as faith. That one time is in Hebrews 10.23. Let us hold fast the profession of faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Now, was this an error of the translator? Because it's the only time it was interpreted as the word faith, and faith is usually, in the New Testament, the word pistis, or G4102. In Romans 5.2, we can see, by whom also we have access by faith, by moral conviction, into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God, or with the correct definition, the expectation of the glory of God. I know this seems really subtle, but the difference between expectation and hope is actually pretty big. Hi everyone, I'm Michael and this is Happy English. For today's English lesson, let's take a look at two words that are often confused in English, hope and expect. Both hope and expect are similar words, but they're used differently in English. Let's take a look at expect. When you expect something, you think that it will happen, or you believe that it is likely to happen. On the other hand, when you use hope, it means that you want something to happen, or you desire that something will happen in the future. When you use hope, you don't have certainty about the future, but you do have a desire that something will happen in the future. Additionally, when I look at this verse and the words looking for, I find something interesting. In the concordance, the original Greek word that the translators interpreted as looking for is G4327, or prostekama, and it means to admit, to intercourse, to hospitality, to credence. So admit to your belief, your credence, and by implication, await with confidence and patience. There's no looking or searching as the phrase looking for implies in this definition. And in Blue Letter Bible, the word is defined as one, to receive one's self, to admit, to give access to one's self, two, to expect the fulfillment of promises. Again, there's no looking in this definition. There's no question about what's coming. Perhaps this verse would better read, confidently waiting for that blessed and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the fulfillment of the promise. Scripture is breathed by God, inspired by God, and in that, Scripture is inerrant. The original scrolls are inerrant, but the many translations of the Bible were not breathed by God, but by paid translators by simple men that were interpreting the Word of God and oftentimes changing the words. There are errors in every Bible translation. All you have to do is look in King James and see how often he or him is not capitalized when referring to the Creator. And this is why we have to pray, ask for discernment, and read Scripture when we are in the Holy Spirit's presence so that we can see clearly 
and that we don't miss the important messages that the Creator wanted us to be able to read. And in this case, it's not hope he was conveying to us. It's certainty. Until next time.